Hey guys, it's me, Dom. Uh, welcome to another episode of Dom's Beer Guy. And this is a special one. Um, I asked you to vote which beer I should uh, review first, and you voted. And the um, the one that you voted for was Wild Beers Pogo. So today uh, we're going to be having a look and uh, giving this the Dom's Beer Guide treatment and seeing if it's any good. Um, so let's give it a go. So Pogo comes from the Wild Beer Co. Uh, it's a British brewer based um, in Somerset, and they um, make lots of uh, noise about um, oak or oak aged oak aging the beer or aging the beer in barrels. So like kind of the old-fashioned way, but they say it um, gives it lots of flavour and you know gives it a really kind of nice mature taste. So um, first thing we're going to look at obviously is um, is it cool? Um, so with Wild Beer, uh, the cans are quite striking, um, but they have. Um, Oh, it's branding isn't it I guess they they kind of use this design on most of their cans um, but kind of with different colors so um, it's a it's a it's a nice looking can but it doesn't I, I'm not sure it's one you pick up out of out of choice when you when you're browsing all the ones in the in the supermarket aisles so um, for me it's it's kind of meh it's all right um, so I'm going to give that a middling three Okay, so for the next bit of the review, obviously we're going to see if it pours. Um, obviously, as you saw from my uh, beer wolf video, some beers are an absolute nightmare. You end up with a pint of ice cream, um, so no one really wants that. So this part of the review um, just looks and sees whether you know, fresh out the fridge, in your hand, into a glass, and seeing whether you end up with something you can actually drink without waiting for half an hour. So let's give it a go. Let's crack the can. Oh, I still love that sound. I think I'll never get bored of that sound. Um, usual glass, testing glass. Reasonable angle, let's have a look. Actually, barely any head at all on that, so we've gone quite the other way. Um, I do like a little bit of head, and that looks, well, flat. Um, so it pours, but I'm not sure in a good way, so I'm only going to give that a two okay the next bit of the review um obviously we've had a bit of a disappointing pour but we're going to see if it's kind of whether it gets your senses going now i can instantly tell that there's a smell of oh fruit and it really reminds me of something yeah it's again it's it's kind of it's like an overpowering sort of tropical fruity smell it's, it's really quite nice um but i have to say it's not particularly not particularly clear not oh, that's a bad thing and the colour is a bit um, a bit like wee wee um, but it doesn't look particularly appetising does it it's not one you're going to go oh it's a nice big pint of frothy beer I'm going to chuck that down my neck um, yeah let's um, smells good looks not so brilliant um, I think I'm going to give that a about three so the next bit of view, obviously, as you know, is my favourite bit. It's the bit where we get to actually taste it. Um, now, it's not done brilliantly well so far, so I'm hoping this tastes amazing. So, uh, yeah, let's let's give it a go. It's actually quite quite pleasant. Um, it's, there's not, although it really smells of fruit, you don't get that in the taste. It's it's, a, it's got a tiny hint of fruit in it. Goes down, love it. It's quite smooth. A little, a little bit of fizz, um, but it tastes like I don't know. Like it, it tastes of beer with a ever so slight hint of fruit, and it's not overpowering like, um, like the things from Crazy Lines and and, and that one. I mean that that's the Crazy Lines one for me is kind of like the benchmark of a fruity beer. It actually tastes like fruit juice. This one smells like fruit juice. Tastes like beer after you've sucked a opal fruit or a starburst young uns who don't know what opal fruits is um tastes good i'm, I'm not going to take away it doesn't look brilliant tastes okay i'm going to give that a a four actually you know what sitting here doing the review i've kind of changed my mind it's nice but it's not great um i'm going to rescore that as a three 
So the next bit of the review, we're going to look and see whether I think it's value for money. Um, so this is a 4% beer, um, you get it in 330ml cans, so kind of like average sort of can, Coke size. Um, it's 1.4 units um, per can, and you can get it for around about about two pound fifty, about two fifty a can. So it's not terribly expensive either. Um, but again, I'm kind of left. I'm kind of left sort of somewhere in the middle about it. It smells nice. It tastes okay. The packaging is okay. But then it's not particularly expensive. It's not four or five quid a can. It's two pound fifty. So you can't really argue with that. I'm sure if you bought more than four, it wouldn't be a ten, and you probably get like six or seven quid for four of them. Um, so it's, it's just kind of yeah somewhere in the middle it's not horrible it really isn't you wouldn't be disappointed if you drank it but I, it just leaves me feeling a bit meh meh um i can only really give that again a three so there you go so i was kind of expecting a bit more from that if i'm honest so that's a bit disappointing um so that actually gives it an overall uh, dom's beer guide score of 14 out of 25 so it's just kind of meh but the thing is do you want to drink beer that is meh when there's so many other more interesting tasty things to try um sorry wild beer co I, I need to try some more of your stuff and i'm sure some of it will be lovely but it's it look it looks flat it looks unappetizing and it just tastes meh um it is what it is i guess Fruit. Mm. Anyway, um, that's the review of uh, Wild Beer Pogo done. Um, 14 out of 25 was the score. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, there's so much stuff happening on my social media account, so thanks so much for that. Um, obviously, have a look at the, the Instagram account, the Twitter account, the Facebook account. Um, keep subscribing to the YouTube channel. It is growing. I really appreciate every subscribe because obviously, get it up to you know decent numbers then it's going to be a lot more fun and i'll be able to do a lot more things um but yeah there you go uh, that's the review of that out of the way um on to the next one um, if you've got any suggestions as to what you think i should be uh, trying leave them down in the comments um don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified when there's more videos there's quite a lot of stuff coming and obviously have a look at uh, the others if you haven't seen them um thanks very much i'll see you next time cheers yeah.